Okay, this is game 12 of the season for the Conductors, and the final game of a three-game series against the Logan Park Loggers. Loggers lead the series 2-0. Say hello. Hello. There's been no lack of offense thus far, and uh, I can't say it's uh, I can't say it's been favorable for me. Conductor is looking to steal one here before we leave the confines of Ebbets Field, and tonight we've got Tommy Bridges going against Fad Freddy, Freddy Fitz, Fred Fitzsimmons, and I have to make a, a correction uh, from last night's game when I brought in Hugh Casey, and I called him Spud. And I know very well that Hugh Casey is not Spud. Howie Christ is Spud. Hugh Casey, uh. Hugh Casey is the fireman. He's the fireman. And I've been waiting to bring in the fireman, to find a moment to bring him in and to lay that nickname down, and I blew it. I had Howie Christ on my mind because I was debating which one of them to bring in, and I, I blew it. I blew Hugh Casey's intro. So I just want to clearly make that correction tonight. It's unacceptable. Big apologies. Like, there's Hugh Casey fans out there emailing me right now, like, hate mail. <laughs> no idea. Uh, so uh, lineups are a little different. Uh, tonight you got McCoskey, Henrik, Travis, Etten, Dahlgren, Jonnet, Gordon. Gabby's playing. He's catching tonight, and then you got Bridges pitching, yeah. and then uh, me. Uh, You've been wanting to save Gabby, yeah? Yeah, he uh, the uh, the feds were done questioning him about the whole Al Capone incident, so yes. he, he's ready. To go. And uh, so I noticed that you are carrying three catchers on your roster, on your twenty-five yeah. active. Yes. Why three instead of two, out of curiosity? Well, it's, it's temporary for this six-game stretch. Um, I wanted I wanted O'Day for your series and the next series, and then I'll probably send them back down after. Um, but I might I might make it a more regular thing because both of my catchers and I didn't realize this at the beginning of the season. Both of my regular catchers, Hartnett and Mancuso, are uh, they have injuries in the nine the nine spot mm -hmm. so it's it can be a little uh when that when you have that that's a little uh stressful yeah that, you gotta bring one yeah that kept me away from Mancusa for many 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 uh rounds and then you took him and i didn't have to worry about it yeah um so my uh lineup I had uh, Fry go out with a three-game injury, so I had to bring somebody up. I ended up bringing up a... Uh, where is he at? Where is his card? This is Lou Stringer. He is from uh, the Cubbies. He's going to get a chance to start. Not amazing at second base, but he's here. Let's use him. Maybe he can jolt something into the, into the lineup. Uh, I'm running with Stan Hack, Reezer... Bring in Greenberg, desperation move, precious plate appearances being spent here. Fox Slaughter, throwing Stringer in there. Pitlack getting the start over Lopez, Ferradino, and then Freddie Fitz. And uh, quick look at the league leaderboard after our last games. Uh, you are sitting pretty. You are at first where you were originally, but your win percentage is much stronger at this point. And I fall all the way to, all the way to seventh. Good God, the sp the difference between seventh and eighth is massive. But uh, I I don't like what this looks like. I don't like the picture of me being way down there. I'm also under. I'm also with a one minus one run differential, below the guy with a minus twenty two run differential. So <laughs> some things need to work themselves out. I think before I totally throw in the towel here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you've looked at at Sherwood's results. He's gotten like all of his losses are three to six. Like he doesn't have like a super heavy loss. It's like like nine to three is his worst loss. But every single one of his wins is by one run. 
Mm. So the result he is minus 26 or whatever. And Duke Street, he's chugging away. The green men, they're chugging away. All right, I, I obviously have some work to do. So uh, my camera's working. My dice are working. My scoreboard is working. My mic's working. I'm good to go. Are you good? I'm ready. All right, let's have a good game. Maybe we have a pitcher's duel. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Um, man, yeah, we're due. If you want to walk two runs in for me, like last time, I'll take it. <laughs> as long as the exchange isn't four home runs in one inning, or whatever that was that happened. Good God. All right, here's Stan Hack versus Tommy Bridges. That's a 2-7. He's going to fly out to center. Pistol Pete. Three fives, a single for Pete. And your battery. We're a plus five, We're a plus five today. Uh, but I won't hold Pete. For some reason, I didn't write down your... Your position stats. That's a fail. P5, PV4. All right. So you're not holding Pete. So that brings him to a 18, but he has to avoid the 10. Yeah. We're going to try to get it. It's three or a seven. Okay. Avoid the 10. All right, so he gets the seven. He's off and running. 18 or under. All right. Three, he gets there. Oh, and you test the uh, the T rating. So one to five. One to five, it goes in the outfield? Yeah. Six. So he stays at second base. <clears throat> So now we have runner at second, one out, Hank Greenberg up. How is your infield? Normal. No hold, infield back? Yep. Here's pitch. 12. 5, 8, righty, ground ball, second base, X. That is Henrik. He is a, or no, second base is Gordon. Twenty thirty nine. We have a fourteen and a fourteen. Just misses the errors. And Reeser will go to third. All right, Greenberg out four three. Moves Reeser over for Jimmy Fox, for man on third base. Two outs. Da, 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 da. Okay, double X. Jimmy the Beast is the pitch. Nine. Damn it, five five righty. He walks him. Jimmy Fox continues to lead my team in on base percentage with like 900 walks, something like that. Runners on the corners, Enos Slaughter. Okay. Goes down in the clutch. Let's hope it doesn't affect him here. The pitch. 16. 4 8. Lefty strikes him out. No runs. One hit. Two left on. It's all for naught.
and we are ready for Barney McCoskey. Barney McCoskey. Here we go. One, four, rounds up the short. Tommy Heinrich. Good for Tommy. Yep, we're good for Tommy. Five, five, he walked. My battery is minus three. Okay. No hold. Infield is back. So the... All right, D20 is a 15 for Cecil Travis. Two, 11, grounds up to third, B. Fielder's choice. All right, Travis on first, uh, no hold. Infield back, it's for Etten. Nick Etten, D20 is a three. And a five, two, ground ball to second base X. All right, here's Stringer, three E37. Okay. That's an eight and a 10. He'll make that play, yep. Yes, he will. Good job, String. All right. The calm before the storm. Calm before the storm. All right, Stringer makes the play, and he comes right out here and grabs a bat, ready to face Tommy Bridges. Here he goes. 6-5, righty. He's 1-7 to seven's a homer, and he's got power. 1-7, to seven. can he make a statement right here in his first game? No. Flies to left field. One down. Frankie Pitlack, 6-3, righty, ground, it's a single chance, 1-15. to 15. Is that right? 6-3? Yeah. Yep. Yep. 1-15. 12, so Frankie gets on. Next up, Dr. And B. I have, to, I have to hold Frankie. Holding Frank. All right, Frankie's being held. Here's Berardino. The pitch. Three. One. Nine. That's a double play. One to four, three. Not stellar. Not stellar. So we move to the bottom of the second. Scoreless game. Freddy back on the mound to meet the babe. How'd the babe do last night? What's that? How'd babe do last night for you? Uh, well, he was 0 for 1 with a double play in game 2. Went uh, two for five in game one, the run. So, just mediocre so far in the series. Um, benched for the first time yesterday. Not out of poor play, though. Here we go. Save Dahlgren, four, six. That's a double to four or a single. And that's a three. So that's a double. 
trying to get back in your good graces. Hits double right off the bat. So we're not we're not holding him. And the infield is back for Walt. Alrighty. Walt. Shooting it. D20 is an 18. And a 3-9 is a ground ball to second C. Move, babe. So here we are. Runner on third with one out. Joe Gordon. Uh, infield is all the way in. Alrighty. Joe Gordon. He swings away. D20 is a 19. And a 1-7 is a triple to one or a fly out to center. That's a 19. So he'll fly out, but he'll score. It's all good. All right, the loggers take one off the lead on the sack fly, two down. Nobody on. Gabby's up to bat. All righty. Gabby Hartnett. First at bat of the series. 3 11 grounds out to second. All right. Sack flies, man. They doomed me, doomed me in their first game. Yeah, that's true. They were the difference. Two run game, two sack flies. <sighs> All right, Freddy Fitz. What's this card look like? Low twos. Nope, that's a 1-6. He strikes out. Smile and Stan. 1-7's a single. I'll hold him. All right. That puts him at an 18. We'll try to get that lead. Okay. Three or a seven. Twelve. <laughs> so he's kind of stuck. He stays put. Here's Pete, the pitch. Eleven. Damn it. Five, ten, lefty. Ground ball, third base, X. 4E, 28. All right. You know, you, you say damn it when you roll in the pitcher's card, but it, when you do that, it's almost always like something that's kind of pretty good. 4E20. I noticed that in your other streams, too. <laughs> uh, 18 and an 8. Uh, surprisingly, he makes the play. Double play? Or a double. Wow. Yeah. 18 is gross. That's two double plays in three innings. I can't keep doing this. Uh, I don't think six, in the entirety of the 98 season, I don't think I had a single third baseman turn a double play on a, on a X. In fact, like 90% of the time they either kicked it or let in a. Well, I am here for you to solve <laughs> all your problems. And they were all, they were all slightly better than Dahlgren because Cam Nitty was a 329 and Barry was a 422. So, I guess when I put in Luis Lopez to play third, he did okay. But that was only like a defensive sub move. Okay. Uh, one nothing loggers, bottom of the third. Uh, Bridges is up. Yep. Tommy Bridges. Hitting with the one card, 4 9, he'll walk. Of course he will. No hold. Infield's back. And he's actually super speedy. No, I'm just... 
I don't I don't think there are any pitchers. I I'm pretty sure all the pitchers are the same. Set. Yeah, I didn't. I don't remember getting one of those sheets with the extra pitcher speeds on them. Yeah, the roster the roster sheet has like different error ratings for a lot of guys, but it, it doesn't have. And that's where it would be. It would it would be on the roster. It doesn't have running stats for the for the pitcher. Even though I'm sure some of them were pretty good at it, but oh well. Um, Barney Mikasi, whenever you're ready. We're good. All right, D20 is a 14. Yeah. Three, three, grounds out to first, C. Three to one. Who's the runner over? We're ready for Tommy. No hold and feel back. All right, Tommy Heinrich. D20 is a two. And that's a two, so there's no buck. No buck chance. So here we go with Heinrich. Two, seven is a walk. No hold and feel back for Travis. God help me. Cecil, Cecil Travis. Here we go. D20 is a 10. 1, 4 is a homer to 2 or a triple. And that is a 20. Nineteen forty one. Too many fucking triples. <laughs> yeah, I think I have more triples twelve games than I did all of ninety eight. You probably have more triples than the league collectively had in ninety eight. <laughs> all right. Here we go. One out. One on third, three nothing league. It's becoming a a bad habit. We're ready for Eden with the uh, infield all the way in. Okay. Nick Eden. D twenty is a sixteen, and a three five will be a single to fourteen. Otherwise, a line out. And that's a 15. So he lines up. No hold. Infield back for Dahlgren. Save Dahlgren. D20 is a 15. And a 6 4. Fly ball to center field. 1 E8. Uh, that's a 7 and an 11. He'll make the play. Two more runs. Two runs on one hit. It's disgusting. Where is one left on? Going to the top of the fourth. And we got Hank Greenberg up. All righty. Four eleven righty grounder to short. Jimmy Fox. Four ten righty grounder to short X. Three e twenty nine. 12, 8. <clears throat> Sounds like an out. Yep. Enos Slaughter. Get the bugs out of this dice. <laughs> 3, 5. There we go. <clears throat> 1 to 10 is a triple. Anything else double? Triple. 
too many triples, dude. Loose Stringer with two outs. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, I'm good for Stringer. All right, here's the pitch. Nine. One, eight. Jesus Christ, dude. Can you believe this? Ooh. Tick, 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 boom. Yep, that's stupid. This game's stupid. <laughs> no runs, one hit. One left on. Another scoreless inning for the conductors. I feel like that situation happened like 20 times in the World Series last year. Like, runners on base can't can't bring and they I got the good column you try to manifest the good column and you get it and it, it's the one that that you didn't. anyway Walt Junich are you ready we're ready for Walt four nine single to three <clears throat> six so, we'll ground up. All right, ready for Gordon. Joe, Gordon. Two, three. Grounds up a second. Gabby. Gabby Hartnett. One seven strike up. All right. Top of the fifth, three nothing loggers. Bottom of my order, Frankie Pitlack. Six five righty. He's weak. One to seven is a single. Sixteen is a fly to left field. <clears throat> Johnny Berardino. Two, three is a walk. Um, no, hold on, Berardino. Okay, here's the pitch to Freddy. Okay. Four. One eleven. Double play. One. Uh, four to three. Wonder if it's too late to send back my uh, nineteen forty one strat cards. Strat take, <laughs> they take returns. These ones aren't working properly. These, I need a new set. <laughs> All right, ready for right. Uh, bridges. Tommy bridges. Three eight is a strikeout. Okay, Barney. Barney McCoskey. McCoskey. Six, seven, grounds out the first. Okie doke. Tommy. 
Tommy Heinrich. Five nine flies out to left. All right, top of my order. Now's the time to start something, boys. Gonna start something right here. All right, Tommy, here's Stan. Jeez, oh wheeze. Five, seven, lefty. One to two's double. Eight, fly to center. Here's Reezer. Four seven lefty strikeout. Hank Greenberg. One nine <laughs> strikeout. This is frustrating. All right, still 3-0, bottom of the six for Cecil Cecil. Cecil Cecil Travis. Two five, rounds up short. Nick Etten. One eleven Homer to sixteen. Seventeen. Bam. Holy shit. Can't whine about that one. Save Dogan. Two five singles. No hold. Infield's back. Okay. Well, June H D twenty is a thirteen. Six twelve single to seven plus maybe an injury. That's a 19, so it's a line out to end the inning. All right. Grab the old injury chart here. Freddy. I just want to make sure I'm almost positive he has a one next to him. I'm just going to do my due diligence and make sure that that is accurate. Freddie Fitzsimmons. Yes, he does have a one. That's what I thought. Okay. One to six, he can stay. Anything else, he's out. 10. That looks like a five day, five day injury for Freddie. Yep. Shit, it's too bad. He was pitching well, all things considered. So if it's well, and, you don't, and you don't have to make that decision right away. You can you can wait until the seventh if you want, or until when I'm up. Yeah, with any luck, I bat down to him. That'd be nice. Right. In the meantime, uh, top of the seventh. Yeah. Well, so speaking of 
changes. Uh, I'm going to make my defensive move, Crosetti coming in for Etten. He plays at short, Travis to third, Dahlgren to first. Okay, Crosetti at short, Dahlgren at first, Travis to where? Third. Third, third base? Yeah. All right, let me find Corsetti. Okay, I fixed that. Bridge is still in the game to face Jimmy Fox. There we go. One, nine is a hit. One to five is triple. Anything else single. Keep it low. Three, triple for Fox. Seriously, dude, triples. 1941. Silly. Um, nothing special for Ina. Okay. Here's the pitch. 11. 5, 7, lefty. 1 to 2 is a double. Anything else is a sack. 9. F8, sack fly. Get on the board. Three to one, loggers lead. One out, top of the seventh, Lou Stringer. Five, five, righties, a walk. Okay, no hold on Stringer. Put some at an 18. We'll try to get that lead. Okay. Need a 7. Need to avoid an 11. That's a 4. So he's going to stay put. Pit lack the pitch. 13. 1, 10. That's a double to center field. Uh, one to thirteen for Stringer to go home. We're coming home. I'll throw home. We'll trail with Pitlack. You still coming home? I'll go for pit lock. Going for I'll pit go for pit lock. What's that number? Um, one to five. Holy shit! All right, one to five. It is three. Holy shit! Oh. I I knew not getting that home run was gonna bite me in the ass. Nah, it hasn't yeah. hasn't bitten you yet. Got a little mojo uh, well, going. A little mojo going. Considering it's three to two with a run on third and two outs. There. Um, all right. Um, I'll go infield in for Baradine. Okay. Dr. B, I need you more than ever right here, buddy. Pitch. Eight. One, six. One to five will be a single. Six. Line out to short. All right. It's that pinch hitter I was talking about.
Man on third, two outs. Look for the clutch. All right. Looks like it's going to be Bob Elliott. And uh, Bridge is still good. Yes. <clears throat> Infield back, no holder. All right, here's the pitch. 11. 2, 10. So ballpark single chance to 15, to 15. Keep it low, Bob. Eight, he does it. All right, my boys are fighting. That's all I can ask for. Man on first, Stan Hack up. All right, no hold. <clears throat> All right, Stan Hack goes way down in the clutch, so we'll leave him on first. Here's pitch. Ten. Five, four, lefty, catch X with a man on first. Four, eight, two. Six, eleven. So one to two is a pass ball, otherwise it could pop out. One to two, ten. Pop out to the catcher. But we tie it up, so that's good. On one, two, three hits. That Where home is? run, I knew it. I just knew it. In fact, I didn't say it in the moment. I should have said it in the moment. I knew it. It happened. Um. So, Elliot's done, reluctantly. And we've got... Gordon, whoever. Gordon Hartnett, whoever. So we'll bring in uh, Tiny Bonham to pitch. In the bottom of the seventh. All right. And we're ready. Joe Gordon. Two seven singles. Yes, he does. Our battery is a minus five. No hold. Infield back. Okay. D20 for Hartnett. It is a one. No wild pitch, though. Four, five. Flies out to left. Okay, uh, Estelle Crabtree. All right, one second. Okay, let her rip.
Okay. Estelle. D20 is an 11. 6, 7, ground ball to second. Second base. Stringer again. 3E37. That's a 4 and an 11. So 4 is a single and an 11 is an error. Yes, it is. One base error. So here we are, runners on second and third. One out in the top of your order. Wonderful. Infield was all the way in for Barney yeah. McCoskey. McCoskey. D20 is a 13. Five, seven is a ground ball to second base A. Second and third with the infield in is batter out with runners. Runners hold. You said runners hold? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so guys on second and third, two outs. Uh, no hold, infield back for Tommy H. Okay. Simon Heinrich, 12. Two nines are ground out. Whew. No runs, two hits, one error, two left on. Stringer, you son of a bitch. What are you trying to do? He's trying to get sent back down, so he's trying to do. All right, pitcher time, I guess. John Humphrey. I remember this guy. Bridges pitches seven. We're in the top of the eighth. Tie game, three to three. Pete Reeser's up. Good to go? Yep. Five, seven, lefty, grounded to second. Pete Reeser, one for four today. Not good enough. Greenberg. Six, eleven, righty. Fly to right, X. One, E, seven. One, E, seven. Foul ball. Five, ten. He'll make that. And Jimmy. Double X. Sean Humphreys. Here we go. Four eleven righty. Walks him. Fox on first for country. No hold. Battery is impressive now. Here's the pitch to slaughter. Four. Five nine lefty. Grounder to second. The way that dice like caught my palm as I was letting it roll out, like it, it felt bad. It was like when you when you know you're gonna roll a seven when you have like Six eight place bets on, the, ugh. yeah. Just felt it immediately. So no runs, no hits, no errors. One left on. Expect more from Slaughter there. Going to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, bottom start pitching, and we are facing. 
Cecil, Cecil, Travis. We're good. Alrighty, righty, Travis. Four, three, Gramble the first. This is Harry. Fox, 4E13. Uh, that's a two and an eight. So that's a single, and that's all. Uh, no hold on Travis. Infield's back for Crissetti. What do, what do, what do? Um, Roll a one six. See, I, do, I don't want to do that. I disagree. I am going to have him bunt. Bunting D. D. Uh, all right. D20 is a 16. Uh, 110. Bad. And he replaces Travis. All right. So basically a fielder's choice. That is preferable to a double play. Still no. Felt like was gonna, which I felt like was gonna happen. I hear you. Uh, All right. So no hold. Infield back for Dahlgren. Babe Dahlgren. D twenty is a five. Four four catcher X. That's Pitlock. Two E three. Uh, 13 and 17 is not an error. God damn it. No. And 13 is just a pop out. Uh, yep. 2, 3, pop out PO2. Alright, well, Jidnich. We're ready. D20 is a 6. 2, 6 is a walk. No hold and feel back for Gordon. Gordon, who goes down a lot in the clutch. I don't have any. D20 is a five. And a one six is a homer to 15 or a triple. And that's a 17. I don't get that extra. Too many triples. This is silly. Bl blame uh, Duke Street. He picked the season. <laughs> it's just silly. Dude, there's been like six triples this game. Literally, I think. That's my third. That's so the day, I think. Or no, someone, my second. Someone give Hal Richmond a call. <laughs> Forte, I know you have his personal number. Well, this was this was this was before he knew what he was doing with Super Advance, because he still had to put the error numbers on the roster. So, good God! Every third inning, there's a triple. <laughs> All right, no hold infield back, Gabby. Do your worst, Gabby Hartnett. Um. We might go with Mancuso. He's better in the clutch. Uh, actually, but I actually, I don't think that makes up for it. 
Gabby Hart. We're, we're going to stick with Gabby. Gabby Hartman. D20 is a 13. And a 2 7 is a clutch out. And Kuso, just a regular out. Uh, clutch outs are pop outs to. Shortstop. Yeah. Name your favorite infielder. The rule book just says it's a pop out. Uh, I don't know. Whatever uh, side he's on. Yeah, I figure I'll, I'll I'll let you I'll let you. I figure he skies it so high that that the infielders. Uh, I don't. Know. I'll let the pitcher catch it. Okay. Pop out. I can think about what he did. Lighting up a triple with two outs. Like a dope. <sighs> uh, that will be Mancus. Uh, sorry, that will be Hartman's last involvement. Last. We'll go with. With who? I couldn't hear you. Uh, Mancuso for Hartnett. Okay. All right, bottom of my order. Find some miracle juice. Leo Stringer. Two nine strikeout. Pitlack. Three four grounder to short. It's fucking great. Berardino. Three something. Probably an out. 3 5, grounder to second. That's game. Fucking A. Fucking triples. Four triples in this. It's so stupid. It feels, like it, it feels like it's 10. <sighs> Alright, well, good game. <laughs> Just pissed. Game, yeah, I mean, it was gonna be. Uh... I mean, you you did you made it a fight, for sure. So it's all it always it, it it always hurts the most to get shut out. I think. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta come away from each series with a win. At the very least, and that didn't happen. Oh yeah, I just meant shut out in the game, but yeah. Um, Well, this one, I mean, they were all they were all super close. They could have gone. Scored 15 runs in three games and came away with no wins. Yeah. What the fuck do I do with that? Oh, it's so, it's so frustrating. <sighs> all right, back to the drawing board. This is, a, this is a, I think that's my fourth loss in a row. Got to figure it out. Got to figure it out. I got three more games before I have an off day. Yeah, me. Uh, um, Fit, Fitzsimmons, you, you got to wonder what might have been if Fitz didn't get injured. Yeah, that's yes, very true. He was pitching. He was pitching pretty well. And the injury doesn't even really affect him because, like, he, I mean, he basically like takes like ten days off between starts, anyways. So. Yeah, he's yeah he's major league yeah. He's innings limited, so it's just. Uh, like I have some guys. I have some guys that are innings limited and at bat limited that I actually kind of hope get injured to make my decision. So, yeah, that's one. So I am in the cellar with the Bodega Cats, and I've got. Can't remember who I'm playing next. I keep forgetting. Well, I have I have the cats next, and I'm I'm very much I I feel like they're 
they're gonna make a run here. They can't stay terrible this whole time. I've got like, the I've got the uh I got the Greenman. So I go from playing the first place team to playing the second place team. Teddy Williams. I know. It's rough. It's rough. Terrifying Teddy. Uh I won all three of those games too against the Greenman, but two of them were super tight. Three to two both uh first two games. And uh I think I intentionally watched Ted Williams like five times. <laughs> Look at these triples. Uh, he's, he's still got a hit in it. So it's Travis had a triple. Two RBIs. Gordon had a triple, two RBIs. Uh, yeah, that was Slaughter. Was Slaughter had a triple with nobody on. Where's the other one? There was one more. Fox. Fox had one with nobody on. Fox tripled, but he's he scored on that eventually. Yeah. It's all about when you hit it, I guess. God, it's so frustrating. Yeah. Gonna have to count out up all the triples at the end of the season. I'm gonna look at mine right now, as a matter of fact. I had two there. And then I guess I haven't had that many. Uh, Elliot had one. Slaughter's had two previously. So that's five triples in 12 games. That seems like a lot. No? Um, I mean, yeah, I don't remember how many triples I had last year. It wasn't, it wasn't many. It was mostly... I think Viscell had like three triples and then everyone else had maximum of one. So yeah, it's probably a lot. And then Wait, so you've had five triples and two of them were in this game? Yeah. I see. Yeah, you didn't have any in the last game. But you had one in game one. Slaughter had another. Yeah, Slaughter has three for the season. And I think Morandini had three all of our last season. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to figure out uh, what to do with this team. Prepare them for the Greenman. Good series. Uh, yeah. You got to figure out how to, how to tell me how to send you that mana. It's just sitting in the, in the blockchain waiting for you to claim it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I have a Coinbase account, so I so we can probably send it from Coinbase account to Coinbase account. I'm assuming just have to like share that probably. info or whatever. We'll figure it out. Probably. Yeah. yeah. All righty. One day that $5 could become $6. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Especially. Anna. But then the next day it will go back to $3. So yeah. Just gotta, just gotta hope that this is a, that there's not a, uh, 90% dip which you know it's crypto is bound to happen within the next like six months but then you just buy more mana and voila all right do I think there's gonna be another dip yeah I I'm I mean this just how it's always gone you know I don't know why it wouldn't this time I don't think it's gonna drop all the way back down to like 3,000 or whatever but like I'm, I'm expecting yeah. something well, it, it yeah, it would be nice to, because it would be nice to like have a whole Bitcoin at some point. So if it if it drops down to like, to like twenty, or whatever, I, that, I'd be happy with that. I could get up to one, and then, uh, and then wait. Some of the they're saying it's gonna, they're saying it's gonna hit like a hundred thousand before it dips. Again. So, but really, I don't know. yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I just know that like. Uh, last time it got hot, uh, like right before it got really hot, I bought some, I ran into a guy and he was just like, blah, 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 blah. And, and he had me looking at like Coinbase and like looking at Ethereum and all this stuff. And I bought a bunch, well, not a ton, but enough that like I was paying attention to it and it went up and I was like, oh, happy. I'm like, oh, this is great. It's working. And then it crashed and I was like, oh my God, this sucks. And then like it came up again and like. I 
was like, all right, it's up. Um, I've profited a little. I'm selling it. And then it went way up. And I'm like, I'm an idiot. Why did I sell it? I should have just waited. So now I'm at the point like, all right, next time it dips, I'm just going to buy a bunch and just like not look at it for like 10 years. That, that's been my, I mean, I, I'm basically, I mean, interest rates are so stupid low right now. It's basically like a second savings. Like I put a little bit in this like late last year and only like, it was like a, like a sixth of our savings. And now it's basically equal to our savings from how so it's definitely provided an interesting option to regular stocks. Yeah. Yeah. And there seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of institutional buy-in this latest round. So yeah. who knows? I'm... And, uh, and everybody I know is like going, I uh, like really into buying NFTs right now. Yeah. And I don't, don't fully understand the, the desire for that. I guess like if I want to buy art, just, I'll just buy art, but they're like buying that, blockchain art and have it on a disk drive. And another guy, you know, like made something and sold it. Who knows? I don't know. That I, just seems like people who, who didn't, didn't buy Bitcoin and, and want to make the new, the, the next new big thing. And we'll probably get disappointed, but I mean, that's, we'll see. That's what people said about Bitcoin back in the day though. So who we have to just wait for the Stratomatic NFT to, to go up for sale. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Figure out which one of us wins the wins the big bidding. Yeah. All right, man. You have a good weekend, good series, and uh, good luck uh, the rest of the season, except when you play me again at Forbes Field. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. You too. Night. Bye. All right. We go down again. We are losing. We are losing. This is not going well. You can draft and plan for your team. You can figure who's going to play where, who's going to do what, your strong points, your weak points. And then uh, when you get into the game, it, none of it matters. None of it matters because your opponent does the same thing. And if the dice say that you're going to eat four triples, you're just going to two whatever it's two triples four rbis oh it's killer it's killer and it's not just in a it's not just in 1941 a lot of these early early games like i'm doing a a 1920 series as well and there's just like triples everywhere it's so brutal i'd almost rather it just be a home run than a triple i don't even i don't even know if triples are more often hit than homers or not but it just seems more commonplace than a Triple. Triples just seem kind of rare. Either way, if I was the one hitting four triples, I wouldn't be bitching. I'm the first one to admit it. I'd love to hit four triples in a game. It'd be wonderful. Uh, Enos Slaughter doing everything he can to do that. He went one for three today with a triple, a sack fly, and a strikeout, one RBI. But I really needed him to... Uh, In that in that eighth inning with Fox on first base, I need him to keep that rolling. He can't do everything though. All right, I gotta get ready for my weekend, and uh, I gotta figure this out. This is not getting any easier. I'm about to play the second place team, and Ted Williams. It's a monster in Strat. So wish me luck, and uh, hopefully I can get a, a win soon. That's the, that's my plan, to win a game, one game at a time. Until then, uh, adios. How about going?